Thank you for joining us today. In this issue, we will discuss ActiveSync access and ActiveSync device policies. In order to get here, please access your Microsoft Online portal and select Manage under Exchange. Then select Phone and Voice and ActiveSync access. Now on this page, you will see quarantine devices and device access rules, as well as Exchange active sync access settings what these allow you to do is to deny or allow active sync or allow you to quarantine devices in order to allow devices on an as needed basis when you select quarantine notification emails you can select each of the users Access, when they attempt to add a device, it will uh, prompt them and send an email to the admin. The next thing that you see is quarantined devices. This is where you access the list of devices to be allowed, and then you have device access rules. Now, device access rules allow you to select a device family or a specific model and allow block or quarantine them. What this allows you to do is select let's say Windows Phone and this list will populate based on the devices that have successfully connected. Now it is not pre-populated. You select OK and or you can have this be a uh, specific type of device and a family or a specific type of device period if you want to limit the different devices that you want to manage and then you select to allow access block access or quarantine the other options you have are for active sync device policies now these are great for managing your users security you create a name you can set it as the device policy or the default policy which will set this for any device that that, uh, that connects from this point on it will not go back and modify previous devices you can select to allow devices that don't fully support these policies to synchronize and if the device does not accept that it will ignore the setting that it can't support and then you can update the policy on devices every 24 hours or however many hours you want to set it for so for device security you can require a password simple passwords are the default you can require an alphanumeric password require encryption on the device and storage cards you can set minimum password length number of sign-in failures before the device is wiped and requiring sign in after the device has been inactive for however many minutes. When you select more options, you get enable password recovery, enforce password lifetime, and password recycle count, which is basically the same thing as preventing previous passwords from being used. The sync settings, you get including past calendar items, all two weeks, one month, three months, or six months, include past email all and between one day and one month and size of emails you can limit as well if your users have smaller uh, smaller memory cards or if you want to limit the email period so that attachments cannot be added easily at least you can require manual sync when roaming so that if you're on a corporate policy you have the users do this so that they're not racking up major bills for data usage you can allow HTML formatted emails allowing the attachments to be downloaded to the device and also limiting the size of the attachment as well the device settings are the uh, basically the different options that you have for devices such as allowing text messaging, removable storage if it if the device has it, allowing camera, Wi-Fi, 
IR and allowing internet sharing. Uh, Bluetooth you can indicate how you want it to be applied and once you set this up you then have a policy that you can assign to any of your devices. And if you set this as the default, it will show default. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.